In this lesson, we will learn how to open folders, programs and websites with Auto Hotkey. First, let's try to open up a folder. I want to open the folder here where the LeapWorks Studio uh, shortcut is in. So I'll click right click and then click properties. We can see that it is placed in this program files LeapWorks Studio. So I'll copy the path without the quotation marks because we'll use that. So control Z, copy it. Then I quit and I go to the desktop, right click, new, auto hotkey script. Then I will right click and edit my script. So say that whenever I press control Q, I will activate my script. So that looks like this, two colons, and now we can um, run our script. So we will say run, and to open the folder, you just say run, comma, and then put in the folder. Then return here, and now we are ready. So we can save this, and we can run it. And now I press control Q to activate it. And we can see that we open up the folder where the leap work is in. We could also do something else. We could uh, use uh, the built-in variables to open up um, a folder. And what we do here is that we'll just say run. And then we can use the built-in variables for the desktop, for example. That is a underscore. They're usually named a underscore. So a underscore desktop. I'll just show you a couple of the usual ones. So this one will open up the desktop. Save it, update the script here. Yep, control Q, now we run it. And we can see that we open up the desktop folder. So far so good. We could also open up program files folder. So what we do here is that instead of desktop, we just write in program files. This one will open up the program files. So let me save it, update the script. And now we run it, control Q. So this one is the program files. And like before, where we open up the leap work, we can combine this program files with the leap work. So let us try that. Close this one down. I right click here, click properties. And now we know that we can open up the program files folder. So we'll only copy the last one of the path because now we will combine the building variable with the path. So copy this and we'll just put it in here. So this one will open LeapWork Studio folder. So save it, update the script, yes. And now we press Control Q to run it. You can see here that we opened, we had it open. So let me close it down to show you that it actually worked. It worked. We could also open up the exe file. So say that here we have this application um, called LeapWork. So LeapWork Automation Studio. This one will open up the program. So what I'll do here is that I'll say shift, right click, and then copy as path. I'll put it in here. This one will open up the actual program. Like here, remove the quotation marks. Let us remember to save and update the script here. Yes. And now we can run it with control Q. So this one opens up LeapWork. You'll see that it actually worked. I'll need to cut it down. And again, we can, uh, next time we run, we can choose to, oh yeah, the license key has expired, but that doesn't, that's okay. It was just to show you that we can open programs. You can open all sorts of programs, but just typing in the path of the exe file that runs the program. And we can also here, just like we did before, Delete this and then use the built-in variables a program files and then the percentage again. Let us save it, update the script, and now we can run it. So control Q and again we will run LeapWork uh, Studio like this. Let us uh, look at how we can run websites. So say that, let me close this one down. I could have maybe chosen Notepad. That will probably have been a better example instead of opening this, but hey-ho. So now we want to open up a website and we just do it in the same syntax. So say that I want to open up my own website. I just uh, type in the address. That's https and then uh, anasjensen.org. This one will open in default browser, so I save it, 
update the script and then I run it and press Control Q. So this one will open up the browser and go to my website here. You will see that it's indeed worked like this. Say that we, you saw that it opened up in Chrome, but say that we want to specify the browser. Well, then we just, before the address, we just type in the browser that we want to use. So for example, chrome.exe, like this. And we could also have, choose to run it in Internet Explorer. So let me copy this one, paste it in below. And instead of Chrome, we'll just say IE Explorer, like this. We'll save it update and this one will open both Chrome and Internet Explorer with my website so I'll launch this script we will see that it opens up my website in Internet Explorer and Google Chrome so that's it in this lesson you learned how to open folders programs and websites